Hello and welcome everybody to today's book review. Today we are going to be reviewing another book by Bob Larson and today that is Demon Proofing Prayers by Bob Larson. So Demon Proofing Prayers is not a deliverance book. In fact it says that in the foreword and I'm just going to read that quotation for you so you can get an idea. Demon Proofing Prayers is not about how to do deliverance but rather it is about how to avoid needing deliverance, how to be a spiritual warrior to keep you and your loved ones safe from the oppression of the enemy. So my comment on that is, um, even though if you have a strong prayer life and a strong intercessory life, it will save you a lot of oppression and it will save you a lot of hassle, but I don't know that it will save you the necessity of getting personal deliverance. However, I will say this. So, Demon Proofing Prayers, on that note, is not a deliverance book, so we're not going to be comparing this to Pigs in the Parlor or Battling the Host of Hell. This book is more about warfare praying, how to pray within warfare mindset and attitude. So basically, you will find throughout this book examples of uh, some teaching on the attitude and how to pray warfare prayers, how to pray against the enemy, and then some examples and some sample prayers. So that's basically the synopsis of the book. And this is what I would say that's really beneficial about this book is in deliverance, people who get into deliverance, there is this disease that gets into deliverance people and it is terrible. It's usually not into big deliverance ministers, but it's into a lot of people who follow deliverance ministers where they get this weak victim mentality where they're afraid they're going to catch a demon from the crab rangoons at the Chinese restaurant. They are so demon conscious that, you know, they hear the leaf rustle and they think, oh my God, I'm going to catch a demon. And they hop from deliverance ministry to deliverance ministry, having some charismatic experience and probably a little bit of superficial deliverance without ever getting any help. And this book is for those people because the underlying problem to all those symptoms is a sense of victimhood and weakness. And no matter how much you get deliverance, if you don't have any spiritual fortitude, if you don't have any strength to be able to guard yourself, resist temptation, fight the devil on your own, then I don't care how many times Daniel Adams or Isaiah Salvador has prayed for you, you will not stay free. You need to learn how to have an attitude of freedom and fortitude against the enemy. And this book, contrary to my initial belief, is exactly what that was about. When I first saw this book, when I first decided I was going to read all of Bob's books, um, it's, you know, you could see it. It's got like this kind of dull color on the front. And I'm like, ah, you know, this is probably going to, this is just a filler book. It's just, you know, something just so an author can write books. But I was really mistaken by that. That's not what this book is. It it primarily, I think its primary benefit is it teaches its reader how to have an attitude of fortification against the enemy. Stand up. Fight. Be a warrior. Do not sit back, relax, and just, you know, let yourself be demonized. And just to give an example of that, I want to read to you some of the chapter titles in the table of contents to get an idea of what Larson is talking about. For example, your destiny, seizing the reason why you are here. Be a winner, not a whiner. Your calling, standing firm like David. Be a warrior, not a wimp. Your identity, turning obstacles into opportunities. Be an overcomer, not a succumber. Your character, do you have what it takes? Be a leader, not a loser. And it goes on like that. And there are these examples of how to be victorious and how to overcome the enemy and not how to, you know, like rely on other people and give into this weakness and, and be lackadaisical and lazy and passive and allow the enemy to infiltrate your life. So that's the first benefit. The second benefit is that it has examples of how to actually pray against the enemy. And I will just mention real quick, um, the only con that I have on this book being about prayer is that it doesn't really mention tongues. And I think it only really mentions binding and loosing and passing, if at all. And to me, those are the two primary big gun, 16 inch guns on the battleship weapons we have in our prayer closet against the enemy. And unfortunately, Bob Larson doesn't talk about those in this book. And if you are looking to pray against the enemy, those are two areas that I would definitely invest in is speaking in tongues, praying in tongues, and binding and loosing. However, even without those essential weapons in our arsenal, 
Uh, Larson does do an excellent job giving some examples of declarations and prayers on how to stand against the enemy. And if you're looking to buttress your prayer life, looking to learn how to better pray warfare prayers, stand against the enemy, this would be an excellent addition to your reading list. I think that it would help you a lot in that area. Now, uh, another example, I'm not going to do a book review on this because it's just a booklet, is Warfare Prayers by Win Worley. It's uh, shorter and it talks a lot more about binding and loosing and stuff like that, but it's Really, it's just a booklet. It'll just give you sample prayers. It's not going to go into depth about things. And this is an actual book, and it'll go more into depth. So um, overall, we would give this a review of 8 out of 10. I recommend this for Christians who are looking to buttress their prayer life, like I said. Especially, now, it may be hard for you to understand if this is you or not, but if you're a person who has difficulty standing against the enemy, you feel like you have to go to deliverance minister after deliverance minister, you feel like you have to rely on other people to pray for you, this is absolutely a book you should read and I believe it'll help you break loose of that of that way of thinking. So, thank you for watching today's book review. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we will leave a link to purchase this book if you're interested in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and you have a great day.